Welcome back, people. Welcome back. Um, as you can see, I have five lures that I custom painted and a custom rod that I made. I wish this reel was custom. <laughs> that would be great, but it's not. It is the Steve CT. SV TW 2019 model with a race studio spool design to throw micro lures. And without thinking, I may, I may, I may have bought my scale with me. These lures will be for sale. I am testing them on trout right now just to get an idea. And it is my oh, lucky day and yours because I bought my scale. Come on, you. All right, so I have my handy dandy. Scale, and we're gonna weigh these lures real fast. All right, first one. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a whopping 1.5 gram lure. The second one, 2.12. Two point five six four point two man, that's a big jump. And four point four. There we have it. Don't have much time. The goal is to catch one fish on each lure. Well, the long heart, the big lip one, the one with the long lip, I probably won't throw. But right, here we go. Whoa. That was over. So let's go up to eight. Slow sinking model. Super slow. S S. Man, it launched that down there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Woo. <laughs> 1.5. I have to thumb it so I don't run into that tree branch. I kind of want to let it fall. And if I let it fall, here we go. Oh my goodness. Wait, is my drag too tight? Woo! <laughs> Huh. Got some followers. Shallow along that bank line. I could see it from over here. I think my drag is too loose. This puts a smile on my face, you guys. Because they they are accepting the lore. I've come down here and oh that little hook probably. I have to go with a single hook. I'm gonna let it fall. K. 
count to 10 and start reeling. I'm along this bank line. Nah, because it's shallow over there. Okay, we got one. Of course, I don't have my net out. While it's fighting, I'm gonna try to grab my net. <clears throat> okay, okay, I gotta keep the tension on him. Drag is a little too tight too. Because he's pulling. But <sighs> open up ninja net. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'll give a link in the description for this net. This is my favorite net. All right, here we go. Picking up some mud. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I didn't realize he was that big. fish number one and he got in that net and started alligator spinning it broke the hook off lord number two that gives me an idea of how deep it could go Oh, the line got caught. No, it didn't. Let's see how they gotta act over here. Short, short cast. They checking it out. They ain't taking it. That's what I mean. If they look at it, they get a good look at it, they'll leave it alone. So you have to keep it moving once they start to look at it. What I've noticed. Now, I don't know if these fish are anything like bass. When a bass can see you, there's a really, really, really low chance of him biting. I don't know if that's how trout are. Man, that was a big one. I didn't even see him. I just seen the wave. I really feel like the further away, the higher your strike chance is. Got one. Loosen his drag up a little bit. I think he's a smaller guy. No, he ain't. I was gonna raise I think he's a smaller guy, but my drag. Really tight. And when it's really tight, there's a really high chance of him getting off. Oh, he's a decent size rainbow. And of course I don't have my net over here. 
and he's trying to go down in the rocks. There we go. Now you're in trouble. Ooh. Okay. It's not huge. Okay, 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 okay. I had you in the net, and I didn't even think about lifting the net up. Tripping. Oh, man. Come back here. Specs, like I said, will be up in the top left. Let's see how this one swims. Super float. Just check it real quick. That gonna fish gonna try to grab it. I guarantee you. Look at that. About a foot, foot and a half. I mean, a, say a foot in general. All right, here we go. Whew. You have to reel it real slow. I'm against the bank. I got one. Yeah. And he's got some fight in him. see the net and start acting crazy. Okay, come back. Okay, yeah, all right. Time to get in the net. Or not. Where do you think you're going? say wake bait these are all custom made this is my first time using all of them and the trout are showing me a little love this one's four grams so we should be able to get down through there with no problem yeah hold on my line's twisted Ah, line got caught in the hook. That is not good. Oh, I slowed it down. Oh no, not a wake bait. Let me get it in before something grabs. I need to see how this thing swims. Cause it's swimming good. I'm getting attacked. S -s Slow rise. That is a nice swimming action. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me just throw it right here. Fish, don't you mess with it.
Red hooks. Oh, I threw it up alongside the bank. Is that a fish? A fish came and got it. And I didn't even hook him, he hooked himself. I like my rod, I like my lures, I like this reel. He's being really nice and coming directly to me. And now he wants to act a fool. Is that a rainbow or a brown? Looks like a rainbow. You're hooked, man. There's two set of hooks in this thing. You're not getting out or loose. No matter what, just turn around and come on in. Oh, I should get an underwater shot of this too. Come on, you. Wow. I hope that was on camera. He went way out there. I just wanted to get an underwater shot with the lure in his mouth. <sighs> Tame drag a little bit. I don't want him to break my line either. Though. They get to acting nutty. Uh oh, oh, okay. I just want a picture. I don't want to put you in a net because I can tell you're going to create net issues. Yep. All right, people, I'm going to give you all my final thoughts. I'm actually, um, I started breaking the rod down and because I'm going to test it with some of my other reels, but I don't know how this, this reel, this DCT went untalked about maybe i kind of get it it's probably because of how old it is but this is where reels of this caliber should be everything that i've used so far i won't say is completely unmatched but there's only a few reels that come close to this and so far what i've used the alder baron 2022 just because of how easy it is to cast like the light flicks for light lures this right here requires a little bit more of a cast but because it requires more of a cast your backlash rate won't be nearly as high coming from conventional as for my lures, which I don't have any more left, they're technically sold out. I do need to paint some more. Um, the trout like them, and that location will now probably be my trout tester until trout season technically opens for us because here in Pennsylvania, there are so many rules and I don't wanna go too far into detail about that. Like the rule there, I got in trouble and that's the real reason why I left and I also need it to be to work. They don't want you to release the fish at a certain point. And I was inside of that point and didn't realize it. So 
I won't say I got in trouble. The guy kind of gave me a hard time and I gave him extra money. He kind of like got weird about it. But I was like, dude, it's, I understand it's their thing. And that's how they make their money is cleaning and all of that stuff. But the, the trout that I released was huge and I really didn't want to see it die, but it was inside the point of no release. I mean, no, yeah, no release. So long story short, I got to make more lures. The trout love it. The reel is phenomenal. The rod is excellent. I didn't mention the line at all. By this time, you guys should know that it's very good America. And in a video coming up, I kind of break down my spools and what spool I use for what line, basically. And I don't want to go into detail here because that video is about 10 minutes long and it explains and breaks down all of that stuff. So here is my closing. I'm going to say to you guys, remember the circle, it's a free lifetime subscription. The square or squares are either how to videos or videos about fishing until next time. Peace out.